Hello everyone, today I am back with another what I spent in a week or expense update video, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, this is for week number two of March. I do have another one of these on my channel. I'm trying to, again, to get more consistent with doing these, but that was from week number one of March. If you guys are interested in viewing that one, I will link it in the card above and in the description box below. Uh, but this week is going to be a lot different than last week. It's gonna look a lot different because I spent a lot more money than I did what last week. I don't exactly know how much I will tally it up at the end, but definitely a lot more. And I know in my last video, I mentioned that I'm not a huge spender and normally I'm not. Uh, but of course this week I spent a lot more money than I usually do. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. If you guys are new here, please allow me to introduce myself. I am a cash-based budgeter. I'm also a zero-based budgeter, which means that all of my income does go towards something. And I am a server here, uh, based here in Texas. I do different kinds of videos on my channel, but today again, we are going to be focusing on um, what I spend in a week or my weekly expenses. I do also have cash stuffings, bill swaps. I did a video on how to uh, budget sinking funds. So if you guys are interested in any of that content, it's on my channel if you guys wanna check it out. Um, and if you do like it, please consider subscribing to, to grow the, the platform. Um, whenever I do reach a thousand subscribers, I am going to be doing a giveaway that I'm super excited about, so that's to come. But let's go ahead and get into this video. So starting off, I did break this down into three different categories. First off is my credit card, what I need to stuff in there. The second one is what I need to, need to put back into the bank. And then the third one is just expenses that I do not need to put in either one of those, but that I want to let you guys know about because I'm trying to be uh, transparent. So. Um, oh, before we do get into it, I'm sorry, let me just mention that the setup is a little different today, so I'll mention it later in the video, but I did get a new iPhone, so I am filming with that, and I'm using my AirPods instead of the headphones that I usually, or the uh, microphone that I usually um, film with. So I'm not sure how it's gonna sound on playback. Please, please, please let me know what you guys think. If you like the audio, if you don't like the audio, that way I can um, to, you know, tailor it to what you guys prefer. But again, let's go and get into it. Let me get my folders out. So let me go ahead and go into my cash envelopes because that's where these two are coming from. Starting off with gas, I need to pull $25 out of here for gas. And you guys are so great. Y'all uh, commented on my, I think it was my bill and cash envelope video, this past one. Uh, so a couple of videos ago, I asked you guys to tell me about what you are currently paying for gas prices and y'all did not disappoint. Again, I need to humble myself because it is obviously worse out there for a lot of y'all. I'm so, so sorry. Um, $25 that I spent this week, I only got three quarters of a tank. Usually it fills my tank up. So, you know, the gas prices are just probably gonna keep increasing unfortunately, but I'll have to stuff more in there this uh, for this next stuffing. Uh, the next one is HEB. So if you guys aren't from Texas, we have what's called HEBs. Uh, I know a lot of people have like Publix and things like that. H-E-B, hands down, you can find me on it, is the best grocery store in America. Just all around amazing, love my H-E-B. But we're gonna go ahead and put $72, we'll run down. We'll do 72, so let me grab some change really quick for this, ton, uh, for this 20 so I can put $8 back. Okay, so I went ahead and got change. So $72 is going into the credit card envelope. So 20, 40, 60, 70, one and two. Actually, let's drop to 73. That way we have a little uh, buffer in there for some other purchases. Okay. So that is all that needs to go into credit card. Let's go ahead and stuff that. Put this back. And you know what, while I'm in here, I did um, use all of my spending money. Usually I put 20 bucks in my spending envelope. I did use the whole thing. I gave it to my sister so that she could buy my son and herself some food. So that is why that is gone. But let's go ahead and stuff this. Okay. And I do still have last week's uh, expenses in these folders. I'm gonna end up going to the bank tomorrow, but that's why there's still money in here because I have yet to go to deposit these. Okay, so a total of, let's count this really quickly. A total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 6, 7, 8. So a total of $98 is going into credit card. And just for, for funsies, let's go ahead and count and see how much is in here. 
So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $225 in credit card. Okay. Up next is um, where the chunk of my spending came from this week. So starting off in my OG sinking funds binder, I do need to pull $51 out of clothing. So let me grab that. Let's see. Clothing. There it is. I... I think I mentioned to you, I did mention to you guys in my, in my previous video that I did buy some clothes because of this influencer that I really like. Um, I ended up spending $51 on those outfits and I will let you guys know what I think about them whenever they arrive, but usually I'm not a huge clothing, like I don't spend a lot of money on clothing, but her style is just so, so cute and I wanted, and she has like a similar body type to me, so I wanted to give it a try. So let's see, uh, 2040, put that up there. 50 and one. So that leaves 20, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50 in clothing. Okay, so done with that. And then for the rest of this, I am actually going to be pulling from my build binder. And I need to explain myself really quick because this is going to seem really odd, but I'm actually gonna pull money from my car payment envelope. So I am debt free. If you guys wanna check out the video where I, I talk about that a little bit more, um, I will link it above. But basically this is just money that I'm giving back to myself for my savings. And this week I'm actually needing it to go into my checking account because I'm trying to cover some things that I recently bought. I just kind of spent some money. I knew there's a buffer in there and I didn't really have a plan for how I was going to pay it back, which is terrible of me, I know. But I did also know that I had some of this money in here. So it's not a huge deal. I'm just gonna pay myself back with this. But let me tally this up really quick and see how much I'm actually needing to put in there and I'll be right back. Okay, so a total of $111 needs to go into the bank for all of these items. I put a little asterisk next to this one because I wanted to mention it to you guys, but I, the phone that I am recording with today, I did buy off of Facebook Marketplace. It is an iPhone X. I used to have an iPhone 7 Plus. So I'm hoping that it'll be really good for my videos, but I did take that out of my savings account. So I'm not quite gonna put money back into it. I did wanna mention it though, because it is an expense that I did have this week. Um, so again, I wanna be transparent. So. I need $111 to go into my bank account to cover those expenses. However, I do wanna kind of build my, bu my buffer back up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw $200 from this into there. Um, let's see, so we'll do, let's leave these hundreds here, 20, 40, 60, 81. I guess I can put one $100 bill. So that's 100 and then 200, so that leaves one, two, 220, 240, 245, 250 in car payment. Really quickly, let me get this organized so it looks a little better. Okay, so the $51.09 from clothes and then the $111 from the rest of these items. I took my son out for some pizza uh, this past week, so that's what that's for. And then I had to buy some gadgets for my new phone, so I got a phone case and I got a camera lens protector. The case that I bought, it kind of sits flush with my camera and I was so afraid that I was going to damage it, so I went ahead and got the little like lens protector. And then um, I took my sister and my son to get boba tea. On Monday, whenever I was budgeting, I got coffee. And what else? Oh, I spent 19 bucks on ramen, which is absolutely ridiculous, but I did. And then the 99 cent Apple charge is for my storage, for my Apple storage. So those all came out this week. Again, I did buy a new phone, which was really exciting. I'm hoping that it's going to be better quality for you guys, which is one of the reasons why I got it. I knew that I was going to try to upgrade soon because of that, but I wasn't sure when. And then whenever I saw that phone on Marketplace for the price that it was, it was only 280. I was like, yeah, I have to like jump on that. So I went ahead and did that. But let me go ahead and tally this up. Let's get this stuffed and we'll see where we're at. 
So, oh my gosh. So including the phone that I bought, I spent a total of $631.25, which is kind of mind blowing. I really didn't think I spent that much this week, but again, this is why you budget and this is why you track these kinds of things so that you can pinpoint what you're spending your money on. Again, I did go a little crazy this week. Normally I wouldn't buy all of these things, but a few of them, a lot of them, um, like half of it at least was for the phone. So, or almost half of it was for the phone. So definitely not an expense I would spend weekly. It's definitely like a one-time thing, but it is good to look back and reflect and see, okay, I spent a lot on this. Maybe I should dial that down or dial that back. So again, $631.25 is what we spent this week. Let me go ahead and get this money stuffed into my bank envelope, my deposit folder. <coughs> Oh, let me count it really quick. So we have 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 220, 240, 251. So $251. And then we have 14 in here. So a total of 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 220, 240, 250, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $265 going to the bank tomorrow. And this is again from this week and from last week. Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's what I spent this week video or weekly expense update video. Um, I will be posting this next week's cash stuffing. So both of the cash stuffings for the bills and envelopes and for the sinking funds. Um, and then again, the closer we get to the 1K subscribers, the closer we get to a giveaway. So I'm super excited about that. But until next time, guys, I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a great week. Thank you so much. Bye.